Oh, he went. Pro Sports Programming Network welcomes you to the following presentation of the LFG Primetime Football. Welcome everybody as we are finally here for the most awaited day and the most awaited event as well here live on the channel of RSPN. This is Kiri Kelly, your broadcaster for this evening and we are just a couple of minutes away from kickoff. Happy to have you guys join us here. Be sure to say hello in the chat. Be sure to give some follows as well. We got some love already in the in-game chat as well. Once again, USC and Clemson about to match up here against what's going to be a very amazing. I believe this is the, the, the this is the championship game, right? <laughs> I've just been final four. Okay, okay. I had to make sure. Okay, gotcha. So we are here for the Sugar Bowl to see who will make it, of course, to the national championship. Uh, I'm going to be asking a question here. Let me see. So as we await... Kansas City, a.k.a. I'm pretty sure that's going to be meant to be Clemson. And USC is going to be San Francisco, unless uh, that's different on the screens. Let me see. Gotcha. So it seems as though it's going to be Clemson to get the football first. Starting off at the 25-yard line. All right, just doing some double checks right now. Happy to have everybody welcome in the chat. Of course, be sure to say something in the chat for us. Let us know you guys are here. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I'm very happy to be back with the RSPN as well. Of course, happy to be back streaming for the LFG this time. And it's a new type of tournament structure. As we do see the change to college football. And it seems as though it has lots and lots of new things to give us in terms of content. So if this is correct here, Clemson will see the football first on the right side starting off. As Graf, up by the line of scrimmage, is going to go for the rush. And goes out of bounds around 8 yards. Oh, not 8 yards. So 13 yards on the play. Second and two. Good start off here. And a quick offense as well to get another rush. This time for six will be the first and 10. Or first and 15. Oh, oh this is Okay. Sorry, apologies. This is going to be Prodigy at quarterback here. As he's backing away, looking deep down the field, is going to throw one deep on the left side, caught by the number 52, 31 yards. First and 15 now. Once again, really good offense as we see a little bit of rushes to start off and a quick pass onto the left side. Now for a first and 15, first offensive drive is going to be a short pass again and a really big tackle as that's going to be a loss of a yard. That pop was heard all around the stadium. 
Prodigy on the right throws out of bounds and completes. Third and 16 now. And pressure, that one's thrown right in the middle. It's caught and a touchdown. Very intense play. Thrown right into traffic, but look at a beautiful, beautiful pass there from Prodigy. And an even better catch by the receiver as Wugga looking to send this one down in between the posts, and that will be good. 0-7 to seven on the score. And the ball sent back this time, I believe, to USC. As that'll be picked up for a touchback. Quick pass to start off here for USC is Hamlin. We'll get the 13 yards. Oh, wait, no, I'm assuming. Let me make sure here again. Uh, let me ask this quick question. As Hogg throws a deep pass. This one's going to be caught and a touchdown. An amazing play on the first offensive drive as Mingo with a one arm catch into the end zone. As Hogg descended inside, it will be good for the extra point. That one sent out a bit more to the right. Staying in between the posts. Now seven apiece here on the score. Now it's USC with possession. I do have to correct myself. USC is Kansas City, and it will be Clemson as San Francisco. So for those that need to see the colors there, it's going to be red for USC. White there for Clemson. Quick pass once again. That has been the thing to work here for the offense as Van will get the reception. Left side rollout for Prodigy. On an amazing pass somehow inside or in between the hashes. That's going to be a deep pass this time to the right side. It's caught and real back in. Touchdown! Waga! Look at the distance on the pass! And look how he was able to reel it back in in midair! Right over the defender! And now for the extra point here to make it 7 to 14. Waga! That will be good! No problems on offense! For USC as the Trojans back with the lead. It's Clemson soon to get possession here as the ball sent to the back of the end zone and nobody to pick it up yet. That one taken out of bounds. Touchback is called and it will be Joe now at the quarterback spot. Left side rollout. Graf. Going for the rush. No problems there against the defensive ends. Looking to make it to the first down marker. And it will get 17 yards on the play. Good momentum from both teams on offense. Starting off on this game. Grab backed away. Good pressure from this defensive line. Looking to throw this one deep down the field once again. That one going to hit the wall incomplete. Already 2 minutes and 12 seconds left of the Sugar Bowl. And it's Clemson down against USC. 7-14. to 14. You're watching live on the channel of RSPN. Live on Twitch. That's going to be a couple of yards on that play. That'll get 3rd and 4. Graf, who found success early on with a deep pass down into the end zone. This time we'll get the first down. Getting past that line of scrimmage. Went for the dive there. 
Left side roll out. This time staying in between the hashes. Rolling back out to the left again. Throws this one deep. Wide open receiver. The chance caught. And a touchdown. Another highlight for Clemson as RVD. That was some sort of a frog splash, if you will. Just like the one in wrestling. That's going to be an extra point there. Attempts will be good. 14 apiece. Once again, the game is tied. Just amazing to see what both teams have done. Once again on offense, I would like to claim. Touchback is called as USC back with possession. And a right side rollout as Prodigy. Looking to throw this one left side. A bit of miscommunication there with the receiver as Drew. Unable to get that one incomplete. Back and away. Prodigy in trouble. He's going to be able to throw this one before the tackle there. That was going to be over to the end zone. Tipped away and out of bounds. That is a beautiful defensive stop there. That'll be third and 15. Danger for sure. As USC applying pressure on offense. Back in the end zone. The ball thrown deep yet again. This one over to the five. Tipped away and incomplete once more. Fourth and 15. And this will be a punt here. As Clemson will receive the ball yet again. Tremendous defense deep down the field. As they were able to cover up pretty well. And not allow a really big time play to happen. Down it around the 35 yard line. They'll down it at the 34. Graf. Conducting the offense. Throws a deep pass over to the end zone again. Incomplete as that went almost over the post. Thirty-three seconds left of the first quarter. Already, both teams have scored 14 points. The ball thrown deep to the right side. This one's going to be caught. And RVD yet again all the way down the field. Touchdown! Beautiful from Abdestone. Taking on two defenders and was able to go all the way down the field and into that end zone for the touchdown. And the extra point attempt will be good. Clemson with their first lead of the night. And this one sent back as USC will call for the touchback. And down at the 25-yard line. Quick start on offense for USC as the Trojans go for the deep pass. Caught by the number 27. That'll be a first down here. Down at the 42-yard line already on the other side of the half. Or the other side of the field, apologies. Backed away as that'll end off the first quarter of this play as it's picked up by the number 96 for a 13-yard gain. What a first quarter. Lots to talk about and what we've seen. But already we go straight on to the second. Five minutes left and counting down of the first half. Ball thrown down the middle. Cuts and a touchdown. Dark against two defenders. Able to catch that one and is able to dive into the end zone. It was around the five, I'd want to say. That was a beautiful, beautiful reel. As the extra point attempt will be good. And once again, a tie game as USC is able to even up the score against Clemson. This one picked up by the number three this time. 
as Clemson back with possession. Wonderful return. Almost getting to the 35-yard line there. They're going to be down at the 33. Backing away. Graf. Throws it down the middle. This one's caught by Viridian. He'll get 31 yards. First and 15. How much pressure this time? Short pass quickly as Hamlin will get 14 yards. Second and one. Pressure closing on in now. But Graf up by the line of scrimmage, not able to go for the rush. Throws it down the middle. It's caught. And a touchdown. Viridian with a beautiful route. Straight inside the middle and was able to get the catch. Beautiful service as well from Graf. The extra points will be good as Clemson still back with their lead 28 to 21. This ball set back. Over to Dark, who will kneel for the touchback. And starting off at the 25-yard line. Starting off on the left side now. USC back with possession. And once again, the first down, 34 yards. Oh, let's go. We got a Spanish play. Muchas gracias a, a, uh, a Vol. Muchas gracias por el apoyo. Vamos a hacer una jugada en español. Arrancando al lado izquierda. Aquí va Prodigy. Va a dar el pase al centro. Completo también. 17 yardas con esta jugada. Thank you so much for the Spanish commentary redemption. I appreciate that, Vol. Hope you've been having a wonderful time watching. Three minutes and 16 seconds and counting down left of the second quarter. Some intensity really building up here. Ball throw to the right side. Wide open receiver incomplete. The number 27. Very close to getting himself a touchdown on that play. Rolling out to the right. Pressure. Ball thrown short again. Incomplete. Very close calls there. Clemson trying to hold off. This Trojan offense, but so far, it seems as though they have been able to apply the pressure needed. Can they top things off with a touchdown here on this drive? Ball thrown short! It's caught! And do they get it? They do not! That'll be down, but first and goal. And here goes the rush! Taken down and a loss! That'll be a sack, losing two yards on that play. Two minutes... And counting down to the first half, ball throw short. It's picked up. And look at this. Clemson getting possession and a stop. The first one of the day comes in from Log Leg, a.k.a. Law. That's the way to get things going and a way to try to win the Sugar Bowl. You have to get stops. You have to play some defense. Both teams have played the part on offense, but now with this, could it be what Clemson is looking for to win this game? Left side rollout still very early into this one. Ball thrown down the middle, caught up for the first down, has lost, spinning around, getting 17 yards, first and 15. Graf and company. Have a chance to really get something here on offense to get a two-possession lead. Ball thrown deep as it's caught for 16 yards. It's all about being comfortable here in these type of situations. And Graf, calmly on the left, good blocks here coming in from his uh, center. As he has a chance to throw it deep to the right side, Viridian! Looks to see that when it completes. 
believe that looked as though he tried to swat it. I don't think he meant to. This has been a bit of a mistype there. Is this going to be caught but out of bounds? That will be complete according to the game there. That'll be a first and 15. Wonderful snag there by the receiver. Left side rollout. On to the right now. Ball thrown. Caught by Joe as he's able to get the first down. Trying to spin around here as he gets 19 yards. And the one-minute warning now of the first half. The score 28 to 21. Clemson with the lead and with possession as they'll get five yards on the rush. Down to 50 seconds and counting down. The nerves starting to build here. If you're USC, you don't want to be down two possessions. On the left side here, Graf taking his time. Looks to throw it to the right corner of the end zone. Way too much there. Incomplete. That'll be third and ten. Two opportunities left here as Graf looks to throw it short. Taken down. Great defensive stop and a timeout called. One chance left here to get a first down or a touchdown. 27 seconds left of the first half. USC holding for dear life here, not trying to concede before the end of the first half. Once again, we can't really see who it is that's following, but thank you so much for the following so far this evening. I do appreciate that. Same to those that are in the chat as well. Much love to all of you. Hope you guys are enjoying this one. I go by the name of Kiri Kelly. I'm a broadcaster here for RSPN. Much love once again to Hayden and, of course, to Super MRK for having me once again. Ball thrown with a high yard pass. It's caught over two defenders. Touchdown. You see it in his name laying down the law as he's able to get into the end zone over two defenders. A one arm catch as well. And the extra point way too much there on the attempt. No good. That'll be 34 to 21, and this could mean something possibly later on down the line. If you are USC, that is going to be something good for them, but they need to really get back their offensive rhythm. 22 seconds, and they can at least get this to a uh, one possession lead instead, or one possession trail, I should say. 18 seconds left, and counting down. Looking to go for a deep pass. This time down the middle. A trust pass. Three defenders. Two receivers. Oh, my goodness me. Touchdown. What an amazing catch. And a very, very unnumbering situation there. But Waga did not care for none of it. 34 to 27, and that extra point attempt, no good. A one possession lead with 11 seconds left here in the first half. And oh my goodness me, I think we're going to keep seeing this till the end of the first half. As that'll be picked up by the number two, a touchback is called. There's a bit of server lag happening. I don't know if it's just on my end. Uh, I think it's on everybody's end. Yeah. Hey, let's uh I'll, I'll let y'all know right now there's there's something happening in the server. Uh I, they might need a reset here. And if that's the case, we'll see. But I think uh oh they got somebody. Never mind. There was uh somebody was uh causing some issues here. Uh <laughs> so I don't think that will not be a problem anymore. We'll see if they're gonna reset just in case still. Uh there's still some concern from the players, as there should be. Nobody likes seeing a bit of freezing like that, so we'll see. What an amazing, amazing situation we have here at the Sugar Bowl. Everything happening. Stops defensively. We've seen a lot of extra points missed now. Back to back, we've seen amazing touchdowns from both teams. And with nine seconds left, the intensity still continues. The thrill is still there. And we still have a whole other half left for you guys to see here on the channel of RSPN.
There is somebody I do want to shout out. Unfortunately, he would not be here with us today, but we could definitely make something work in the future. Big shout out to Alfredo. Much love to you, man. Uh, power is going out for a lot of people around, of course, the nation for the U.S. So again, uh, hope you guys are safe. For those of you that are dealing with that for a power outage and definitely in uh, the cold weather, uh, we wish you the best of luck and hope you guys are okay throughout all these times. Seven seconds left of the first half. Timeout is called. And uh, it looks as though we might be staying here on this server. So that would be rather good for us on our end. We don't have to prepare too many things now. Uh, but we'll see. I think we are good to go. And here away we go. Back into the game. With three seconds remaining, and there's some more server lag. They might stop the play here, but I don't think they are. Deep pass is this will end off the first half of what's been an amazing game and an amazing, amazing touchdown. My goodness me, Law once again, heroic. Lag will not stop Clemson from keeping their lead. And once again, a two possession lead at that. And the extra points will be good this time. And we will end the first half with the score 41 for Clemson, 27 for USC. What an amazing, amazing game so far. Thank you guys so much once again for those that are tuning on in. As we are about to get started, back underway for the second half of the Sugar Bowl. Here in the LFG, touchback is called. And we'll start off at the 25-yard line. Clemson back with possession, looking to try to make it a three-possession lead. There is a flag here, but I think they're just trying to sort things out to give some more time. And uh, they are just trying to sort time out here. And away we go. Right side rollout. There's a chance to throw short here. And it will be given that way, but that's a bit too much on the pass as Frogleg was the intended receiver. Second and 15 here for Clemson. The pressure back to where his own end zone. Graf throws it deep to the left side. Caught again. And who else says Law will make it third and in inches. Getting to the 40-yard line, but they need to cross it here. Just inches away from a first down. They're going to throw it left side again. The comeback route has Law staring down his defender. And here comes some help. As that will be a first and 15. The disrespect there from Law to the defenders. We'll see if that will head up and continue to build as drama unfolds into this wonderful game. Ball thrown to the left side. It completes. It was two receivers very close. Second and 15 now. Left side rollouts. Graf. I maybe a short pass down the center of the field. It's caught by the number three. And that was Viridian, I'd say. First and 15 once again for Clemson. Another short pass. This time caught up by Law. Now for two yards on the play. They have been able to really get a lot of these short passes to go their way. Right side rollout. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Here comes the pressure. Ball thrown to RBD. Caught for the first down is Abdo Stone. We'll get the first and 15 for Clemson. Rolling out to the left side. Good pressure from this defensive line this time. Ball thrown to the right corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Try to go for the reel there. Too much power on the pass.
Now second and 15. Bopped on short. Caught up by Hamlin. Seven yards. Third down. The short passes not working the same way they did earlier in the drive. What will they do here as they're only getting closer and closer to this end zone? Still have a chance for a first down. The ball thrown! Wide open receiver! And a touchdown! The play so good, Frogleg couldn't help himself. A reset in order. 47 to 27. And now the extra point attempts. No good as it's swatted down. And a beautiful swap by the USC defense. The Trojans able to get a stop on that extra point. 47 to 27. A 20 point lead here for Clemson. Two minutes and 42 seconds remain in the third quarter. Prodigy. Trying to get some players back on the field for offense. Adjustments looking to be made for both sides here. There is a ready call there. And we'll see this one resuming as Prodigy. Throws a deep pass out of bounds, but real back in, illegal touch is called. That was very close. Does not call it. Backed away, now throws to the right side instead. Ball thrown, a bit of lag, caught for the first down in a 28-yard gain. Two minutes and 16 seconds left already of the third quarter. Prodigy, trying to get his team back in order. The ball thrown, one-on-one -on -one pass. It's caught, and a touchdown. Waga, once again, the battle between him and Law is definitely showing here in this game. They're trying to say there was an angle on that play. Will they review is the question. And the extra points, dings off the post, no good. Touchback is called yet again as it's first and 15 down at the 25 yard line. So two minutes and six seconds remain in the third quarter. It's Clemson looking to make some adjustments, I'd say, in that or they're looking to review. For now, while we wait, though, once again, big, big shout-out, of course, to Hayden and to Super MRK for allowing me, once again, to be a part of the RSPN crew here this evening. Happy to be here with you guys for the Sugar Bowl. It's been really, really fun. Uh... And again, thank you all so much for uh, tuning on in, of course, to this stream. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, I do have uh, my own channel as well. Hope you don't mind me uh, promoting that as well. I go by the name of Kerry Kelly. You can find us on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, our TikTok is a bit different, though, at Kerry Kelly Official. Uh, again, very happy to be back. We are definitely going to be here a bit more times as well. We have mad love for RSPN. There's a reason why we went there to begin with as well. So happy to be back. Happy to see all of you guys as well. I know I've kind of like been back and forth going active and inactive. It's amazing to be back with you guys, the LFG community especially, uh, and the real football community as a whole. So we are still waiting. I don't know if there's a review happening. I think there is, and I think the call is going to be angle. So that will be possession, I'm pretty sure, for Clemson. And that will be very, very interesting to see here. So that is called back for USC. And once again, dealing with lots of obstacles here on their race to get in 
to the national championship. As for, of course, Clemson, this is exactly what you want. They are in the driver's seat, but they can definitely extend it a bit more here to be really comfortable. This is momentum building for them right here. Despite them not being able to get the ball right now until they try to sort things out here. Still some things being discussed. I think there's, yes, sir. Big shout out to RSPN2 as we get our Spanish commentary. Once again, we'll get you guys for the next play. Pero muchas gracias para todos que están uh, volviendo pues a mirar a esta, este, este directo pues. Mi nombre es Kirikali. Aquí estoy para dar algo de, de narración para este, es, pues, este partido, ¿no? Pero muchas gracias por atender. Y pues sí. Los quiero mucho, muchas gracias. Uh, vamos a estar aquí segundo y veinte. Esta mitad, pues, se mira como que han parado bien mucho. Sorry for those that don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I'm just saying thank you guys so much. Much love to you guys for those that have been enjoying the Spanish commentary as well. Uh, we try our best there. I still uh, have lots to learn, of course, and this is where I get to kind of practice it. So I do appreciate that. Uh, for those that do support it. Um, looks as though they're still trying to change some things out here. There's been a lot of halts here in this half uh, due to the review. Uh, we're going to see what they decide to do for this call. I think that the decision was made. There's been some arguments of whether or not uh, they need to change up the score. Uh, so now that has been fixed up. It is 47 to 27 now. And possession will be for Clemson. All right, so here we go. Vamos a empezar aquí. Más que va a ser el 26. Una oportunidad uh, nuevo pues para el equipo de Clemson. Graf tiene la oportunidad para llevar a su equipo a tener más puntos y a, ojalá pues a tener algo para que se mire que van a ganar este partido el serie 15 todo puede pasar aquí en el Sugar Bowl primer y 15 Y empezamos con un pase cerquita y todavía con el balón. Pero buena uh, parada de, de ahí de, del número um, 14. Es el segundo y tres. Here we go back to English. I do apologize for those that don't know anything that's going on. I hope you guys have still enjoyed it. Pass to RVD. Had to be caught for the first down. Heading to the 30-yard line and stops. 36 yards on the play. What a tackle there from Mighty. That'll be first and 15. Rolling out to the left now. Backed away. In between the hashes. Bopped on short to frog leg. Is able to get the catch. Trying to go forward for 13 yards. That'll be down right for uh right at the 15 yard line, second and two. Rolling out to the right instead. A chance still could be here. Once again for Clemson to try to make it a three-possession lead. That'll be incomplete. 47 to 27 currently. Can this continue on? Could this still be more of a lead as Clemson will get a flag thrown? And we'll see if that will be... Oh, no, no. They're going to be trying to stop the play clock here, I think, is what's happening. Still some adjustments needing to be made here. We're up to a minute and 14 left of the third quarter. 
Is there a review is what I'm thinking. I think there's another review being uh, being done here. And again, they do have to get these right, you guys. Again, that's that's kind of how it goes in these type of play, uh, these type of games, because anything can happen for these type of decisions. Thank you guys for being patient with us as we still await the decision if there is a review. We do see, I don't know if it's off camera there, but we do see that Clemson is over by their bench right now trying to get a player, I think, back into this game is what it was. That is what was happening behind the scenes here. So they're going to be downed. Let's see how many. So down at the 15-yard line. So a little bit of changes looking to be made. Third and two. Here in the third quarter. And still anything can happen. But Clemson still have a bright opportunity. To give themselves even more comfort into this game. To extend the lead. Right now, just a few letters of their name is pretty much engraved to that ticket to make it to the national championship. USC have a lot of work to do, but it definitely could still be done. It's still possible. And again, due to many things, it could be stops here into the third quarter, or it could be from the fourth and 25 rule if they can definitely be consistent and that's been kind of their issue into this game that's going to be caught for the first down and a seven yard gain that'll be first and goal down to a minute left of the third quarter quick hike onto the left side backed away due to the pressure here comes a spy as well to cause some problems taken down in a sack Graf had nowhere to run there that was a great hit as well. But the defensive end got scared up by that spy. The pass on short caught by Law. Law looking to make something happen on the edge. Stopped out of bounds. That'll be a nine yard gain. Now we're at 27 seconds and counting down to the third quarter. Looking to put down a lot of clock here. There is a flag thrown. As they will need some more time here. And they're trying to say that they need to be placed elsewhere. I don't know what's happening here. Or what this argument is, is happening. They're still deciding. 19 seconds left of the third quarter and still a 20-point gap from both teams. And right now, it's Clemson with possession and with the lead. Once again, if you guys haven't given a follow yet, be sure to give a follow. And again... We do appreciate you guys all tuning in. Can we get some W's in the chat? You guys have been absolutely wonderful today. Thank you guys so much for tuning on in here for this wonderful stream here on RSPN. Third and goal. Still, I believe they're still sorting some things out. They're almost done, it seems, as we do see players positioning themselves back in. Uh, wait, wait, say the name. Can you type it in real quick? I appreciate that. Got to make sure we say it right. <laughs> Benny Likes Feet, big shout out to you. Hope you're having a wonderful time watching the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful week as well. We appreciate you. Much love to you. From all of us here at RSPN. 19 seconds and still... Some controversy.
we want to look back at what's kind of happened in this game. It's definitely been the defensive stops we've seen from Clemson onto USC. Uh, USC has to do the same pretty much unless they can really do something with the 4th and 25 rule. Just consistent offense would have to be their goal. Uh, of course, later on, around the fourth quarter is when we'd see that happen. But right now, there's still lots of clock uh, in the third quarter. And, of course, once they get into the fourth, as that's going to be called. Oh, let's see what's happening here. So it'll be second and goal is what they're trying to say is happening here. They're saying it is supposed to be goal for the placement of the line of scrimmage. So I'm uh, <laughs> very curious to see what's happening. Um, they are finally adjusted the field here. So they're going to be down at the six-yard line. So it was an angle called is what the uh, decision was. There was a review, and it is going to be – oh, no, no, there was not. Never mind. I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> At first, I thought I was getting somewhere, but I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they have it all figured out, though. So it is still going to be possession for Clemson. That is what we're getting uh, our assumption of here. Second and goal. So Clemson still have their chance to extend the lead. With already a 20-point lead over USC. And as you've seen there, Bull is uh, on the move <laughs> in the voice channels. If you guys are in there, praying for your safety because Bull will cause a definite rampage onto you. <laughs> he wants to make sure this league is perfect and as it should be. Much love to him. Left side rollout, and away we go. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. And here we go with Graf throwing the ball to the right side. Incomplete. The number five was the intended receiver on the play. Eleven seconds and counting down to the third quarter. Graf still with possession here for Clemson. Looking to throw the ball right side. It's caught. And this time, touchdown. Abdestone gets the same type of play. And this time is able to snag that one back inside into the end zone. And now for the extra point attempt. Three seconds left of the third quarter. And the extra point is good as Clemson extend their lead. A seven point drive added on to their score. USC will kneel for the touchback. Two seconds left here. Of the third quarter, and the Trojans will try anything here as they should. Left side rollouts. Prodigy back of the end zone throws a spot with two receivers. He'll get a reception by the number 14. And that'll end off the third quarter of action. Five minutes left of the Sugar Bowl. And five minutes left until we decide who will be the winner. Upside rollouts. Prodigy. By the sideline. Throws to the right side. Caught. And a first down. 31 yards. Lots of space here this time for Prodigy. Throws. Left corner of the end zone. Incomplete as an illegal touch is called. Very close call there. That could have been dangerous for Clemson as USC will have to go second and 15. Right side of rollout. Here comes the pressure this time. Ball thrown to the left of the end zone. It's caught. And a touchdown. Dark. Cutting outside, and that was a very 
Very close call. The one-on-one -on -one was able to win it. That was an amazing placement there from Prodigy. And the extra point attempt will be good as USC brings some life. And now the 4th and 25 should be called here, I believe, unless they can't call it yet. Yeah, here we go. 4th and 25. As the chains start to move. I'll have to put this one to the 25-yard line. Here we go. The ball down at the 25. Five seconds left of the play clock. And here we go. The first chance of what could be many for USC. Trying to get back into this game. And they get the catch. And they get the first down. 21 yards. No, they don't get it. They do not get it unless that was... Wait, what, what on earth? Oh, they do not get that. That's going to be a uh, turnover on downs. Apologies. That was so confusing there. I thought he did get it, but that was a tackle made beforehand. That'll be second and six after that quick play by Clemson. Left side rollout, second and six. Back to way, ball thrown short. Caught up by Frog as he's able to get the first down. And a very awkward moment there as he did not get touched right away. That was a tackle made, first and 15. Three minutes and 39 seconds. Again, another chance to extend the lead as they look to the right side. Ball thrown short, cut up by Viridian. Viridian looking to get the first down, but stud beforehand. A sweep of the legs from the number 19, second and one. Back to way. Now rolling out to the right side. Ball thrown short, caught for the first. Five yard gain. First and goal here for Clemson. Still trying their best to keep this big lead, this big margin that they have right now as they throw to the right corner of the end zone. Stopped in time. The number 19 just putting his body there as an obstacle. It was able to work. Second and goal. Right side rollouts. Graf throws, end zone again, incomplete. The number five was the intended receiver. Two minutes and 43 seconds. Graf, the throw, it's caught, and a touchdown! RVD, Abdestone, yet again. With a beautifully clean move there to go to the right side. Right after getting the catch and into the end zone. Escaping that defender around the, the goal line, I'd say. And that's when we saw the cut outwards. As the extra point will be good. Clemson extend the lead 61-34. to 34. USC have two minutes and 40 seconds and a dream left to try to get back into this game. But right now, it seems as though those tickets for Clemson to get to the national championship are almost starting to get engraved here. It's all eyes on the Trojans on what they want to do as a ball thrown with a deep pass intent for the number... 19 incompletes. And under two minutes and 28 seconds and counting down back of the end zone now here for Prodigy as he throws a left side. This one's tipped away. Incompletes. Right side rollout. 
Looking deep down the field, the ball thrown center. It's caught for the first down. 33 yards here for USC and a first and 15. It's always these very intimidating plays here, but somehow USC does get the hands onto the football and they're able to get the catch. This time it's caught and a touchdown! The number 14, Dark, yet again. This time a beautiful cut down the middle and was able to dive over the other defender. Sixty-one to forty, and the extra point tipped away. No good. A minute and fifty-one seconds, and a fourth and uh, sorry, fourth and twenty-five rule will be called. Again, build some life, but can they manage here? The last time they were this close to getting a first down, they were stopped a little bit beforehand. A minute and 51 seconds left. It's going to have to be a trust pass here. Ball thrown to the left side. It's incomplete as Drew was the intended receiver. They're trying to call for an angle. As that will be a turnover on downs. And here we go. Clemson with possession. Looking to extend the lead again. Ball thrown to the right side of Frog Leg as he'll kneel down 10 yards onto the play. A minute and 31 seconds left. There's the hike and looking on the right side. Ball thrown. Caught by RBD. Looking to get the first down. Spins past the defender. That is filthy. Absolutely filthy. Timeout is called as they'll get the first and goal. Now, this is where you really start to wonder what else USC could do here to try to even up their chances. But right now, it is all Clemson. Back to way. Ball throw. Wide open receiver. Cuts. And a touchdown. Mingo, simple as that. A minute and 11 seconds left, and it's 67 to 40. Looking to make it 68 with this extra point attempt. As this one will be good, now it's 68 to 40. A minute and 11 seconds left, and a miracle is needed here for USC. Consistency has not been there. They've been able to score when they actually get possession, but then they get the 4th and 25, and both attempts have failed. They've been a turnover. Back to way into his own end zone. The ball thrown to the right side. It's caught for the first down, and diving out of bounds, 1st and 15. One minute warning is called. And again, we'll still see if it is crunch time. But right now, as it stands, Clemson appear to be very much the victor so far. But 54 seconds left in a dream for USC. The rush as Prodigy will get seven yards. Losing a couple of seconds here. And no timeouts called. And I wonder what he's deciding to do here with 40 seconds and counting down. Ball thrown. It's caught. And a touchdown. 68 to 46 as dark once again if there's one man you cannot blame here into this one it has to be him he has gotten way too many touchdowns he has been the absolute threat on offense for this team and the extra point will be good 68 to 47 with 38 seconds left and there goes the fourth and 25 rule called yet again
Right side rollout. Back of the end zone. And the ball heaved across. 28 seconds left. And a dream for the USC Trojans. It's caught. And a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. The stack over near the end zone as UI with a very clean catch. 24 seconds remain. And now the extra point attempts. No good. Now they're 4th and 25, and again, consistency needs to happen here if they want to get their chance back into this one. Luck is also needed in these situations. What on earth? Not sure what's happening here. There we go. This one placed back at the 25 yard line. 22 seconds remain. They need to go quick here. This one heaved across and will not make it to the end zone, but if a chance for the first down, it's caught 62 yards, and a timeout is called. But the question is, how much time can they really take off here? They really, really need to be quicker on these offensive drives. And that's the issue. Is there's, they're fighting time, really, is what it is. They're fighting time and their opposition here this evening. Ten seconds and counting down. And the ball thrown. It's caught. Touchdown. Mighty, almighty. The cut outside. And that one missed by the jumping defender. That was a great catch, though. Nonetheless, from Mighty. Seven seconds left. The score is 68 to 59. And a two point attempt is going to be called here. Anything goes here in the Sugar Bowl. USC with seven seconds. Right side rollout for the two-point attempt. And the rush, no good. Nowhere to go. Good stop there by the Clemson defense as USC, another fourth and 25, will be called. They'll need two possessions to go their way this is the first one and they would need to score again hoping that they could still try to get a two point because then they'd have a chance to win the game we'll see what happens here realistically if they could get a catch you know, it's impossible here That's pretty much good game, and that will do it. It's the ball thrown deep down the field to end off the Sugar Bowl. Touchdown for USC, and that will end the game as Clemson will go through. A short differential left into this one and that's really kind of what shows how this game turned out despite how obvious it looked as though clemson was going to go through into that fourth quarter that was a great build up there from usc and it definitely kind of shows how this season will end up they worked very hard didn't get the result they wanted but we definitely could see things in the future for these players that is an amazing Amazing result nonetheless. Clemson will go through for the national championship. And boy, are they excited, as they should be. And of course, you will definitely see us on RSPN 
to see that national championship happen. Graf will take his team forward and as the MVP of this game. Thank you guys so much for tuning on in. I go by the name of Kiri Kali. Be sure to give us a follow as well. I, again, Kiri Kali on uh, Twitch and on YouTube. Kiri Kali official on TikTok. But again, most importantly, be sure to give a follow here to this channel, RSPN, the home of Rose Sports. And we will see you all next time. Until then, ciao. I'm out of here. Rose Sports Programming Network welcomes you to the following presentation of the LFG Primetime Football.